so you got an iPad. So I'm thinking, let's do a video project with the class. As both a teacher and a parent, I think that's more of a so what. So try this one on for size instead. Let's say we're learning something about Canadian symbols. And we've studied one of those symbols in some depth. So what we do is we say to the kids, okay, I'd like you to find out like what makes the symbol distinctively Canadian. Let's see what other people think about when they think of Canada. And by other people, I mean non-Canadians. So I'd like you to find a way to ask people who don't live in Canada, what are some of the first things they think about when they think of Canada? There's a lot of ways to go about doing that. A teacher might have a class Twitter account, or you might create a Google form and invite people to just come to the form, tell us where you live, tell us a little bit about where you live, and then lastly, what are some of the things you think about when you first think about Canada? There's a website called Mapalist that allows you to connect the data in your Google form in the spreadsheet to a Google map and puts pins on the map based on the location information that people entered in your Google form. And it populates those pins so that if you click on them, it gives you all the data that all the other data that they gave you, such as a little bit about where they live, learn something about cultural differences, and what do they think about? What symbols, what do they think about when they first think of Canada? Now we look at all those different symbols and we ask kids, maybe in groups of two, to pick one that they want to learn about in depth. And in the iMovie app, it has a feature that allows you to make movie trailers. Movie trailers are already storyboarded out and they last anywhere from about a minute to a minute and a half, half max. And what the kids have to do is use that storyboard to summarize what they've learned. They're going to create a minute and a half video to summarize the research and the learning they did, including maybe some of the cultural differences they learned about, about their chosen symbol. And then share that with the class so we can all learn from each other. There are lots of reasons I really like this activity. Some of the reasons include gathering more of a global perspective, problem solving that has to be done about how are you going to find people around the world who will share what they think about when they think about Canada, um, trying to see ourselves through the eyes of others, um, which helps to develop a sense of empathy, you know, put yourself in someone else's shoes. Ah, collaboration, and it goes on. But here's some of the questions I've got for you to think about. Um, what class was an activity like that done in? What age do you think the students are in a class like that? And perhaps most importantly, in what ways can you adapt an idea like that for what you're teaching in class tomorrow?